Hello and welcome along and welcome back to the old stream farm for the final time. Today we are going to be selling off the remaining produce on the farm. Uh, we've got a trailer full of lettuce and, uh, and we're going to be taking that out to uh, it's either the restaurant or the farm shop i can't remember which has the best price we'll check that before we get there though uh we've got lots of lettuce to sell as i've said uh we've got a huge amount of grape juice waiting for us down at the uh, grape factory uh we've got some eggs and we've got some more of the lettuce here to sell and look at this huge pile of lettuce we've got uh, where is going to be the best place to sell this? Let me just check. So looks like the best place for the lettuce is going to be the restaurant. So we'll head up there to get this sold. I'm um, just having a quick look at the grape juice. The price for the grape juice has collapsed. I was expecting it to be January where we were getting the best price. But you can see November, October, November. It, it's just dropped down. So, uh... We're still going to get 2,899 for it, um, but we're going to get a lot less than we would have earlier in the year. So let's head off over to the restaurant. We've got 23,000 litres of lettuce on here. I'm going to try and unload this in stages across the length of the trailer. So we'll get the front unloading first. I'd like to try and get the full price all in one go. Uh, so, yeah, carefully moving forward, seeing if we can just ease this. Or lifting the back of the trailer a little bit. Let's pull forward a little bit more. And we're getting the back of the trailer now. I think I'm going to manage to get all this at once. <laughs> really lifting the back of the Discovery up, though. And our final total is... 46,396. That's really, really good. Places up, up to 131,883. Okay, so with that done, um, I'm going to take this trailer over to the grape factory, I think. Um, do I want to go in here? No, I think uh, this is probably not a wise idea. I don't think that trailer is going to fit through that opening. So uh, we'll head round the side here. There's a much easier way to access the grape factory from here. And then uh, once I've dropped the trailer off here, I'm going to head back up to the farm. Uh, we'll grab the uh, little teller truck and yeah. Just might have seen this was coming past then. We had a, we got a massive, massive amount of grape juice here to get sold today. So unhook all of those. And yeah, we'll head back up to the farm and go and grab our little teller truck. So I've grabbed our little trailer and we're coming up round to the greenhouses here because that's where I've left the teller truck to pick up. Just need to unfold the trailer. Have we got it all hooked up? Yes, we have. So let's get that opened up. And uh, we'll put our little JCB on to that. Uh, we've still got nine pallets of lettuce up here. And we'll deal with those later in the day. Hopefully we can, we can get to those before it gets too late. Uh, but for now, I really, really want to get all of the great. Uh, juice loaded up. Uh, let's strap that down back in there and lower our trailer down. Right. And time to get this up to the grape factory. And so here we are. Now, normally I would use the little trailer that we've got the uh, teller truck on to unload this. But we have so much grape juice right now that we really, really need the larger trailer. Uh, unclip this and get the teller truck off the back. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to move the trailer out of the way, or this little trailer out of the way, because it's it's going to be too much of a uh, an obstacle if we leave it there, getting the ones that, that have come out of the production. So we'll just park this over here. And then I can get the Land Rover hooked up to the uh, large blue trailer for uh, transporting the rest. Now we've got a whole load of grape juice sitting inside the factory along with 
the very large pile that you can see down the side of the factory over there. Yeah, look at that. That is a massive pile of grape juice we've got here. Just humongous. And, uh, and then, as I said, we've got those four pallets there that we uh, are sitting outside the factory. But inside the factory is a huge amount as well. So, uh, yeah, let's start getting these loaded up and uh, get this trailer loaded, ready to sell. So, almost finished the first layer on this trailer. Just place those down there. And then I want to have a quick look at what we've still got left in the factory. So, we've still got 9,556 litres of grapes and 3,864 litres of grape juice. So, uh, there's still quite a lot of pallets to come out of the factory here. Now, I'm removing one pallet from uh, the factory uh, spawn point uh, with every two that I take off our larger pile. Uh, that means I don't break up the larger pile and, and make it more difficult to handle. You can see though, very quickly, those pallets are getting replaced. So uh, it won't be too long before we've not only stacked everything on here, but we've managed to get all of the pallets out of the factory as well. So, um, yeah, it's going quite well. Uh, we seem to be all right with the trailer at the moment. Just need to get a bit more onto it. Second layer is almost done, and it's getting a little bit wobbly, the trailer. I'm, I'm slightly worried about its stability at the moment. Uh, if you look carefully, you can see it's sort of wobbling about a little bit. I need to try and get these on here because these are not set up very straight at the moment. Let's lift those. Yeah, that'll be fine. Oh, Sometimes getting stuff really tight onto the trailer is hard. But yeah, you can see it really wobbling about at the moment. And just push those on. There we go. That should do it. And uh, I might push them on from the back as well, I think. See if we can just make everything even up a little bit. Sometimes you do have to push the pallets around just a little bit to make sure everything goes straight. Dead to field in farm sim is still really difficult. And, oh, I'm not gonna chance this too much, I don't think, there we go, got it. Right, we need to get one more pallet onto the back of here. And as I said before, we are grabbing those from the spawn point over here. So just ease into there, grab that, and yeah, it looks like one hasn't spawned in quite as fast. No, I don't think we're at the end. I think there's still some in the factory. I don't think we've completely emptied it yet. Ah, oh, there we go. One spawned in. Right, last one in on the back here. That trailer is really wobbling. Uh, let's lock those on there we go and then let's go take a look at where to sell these so uh we have the farmer's market actually is the best place to sell so uh looks like we're gonna head over there and get them sold yep farmer's market uh yeah it's not quite the 3114 uh, i think it was 2900 roughly so, uh, oh, we can't get out this way. I'm going to have to back it up and turn around. Okay, so I'll back this up. We'll get turned around and I'll head over to the farmer's market. Thankfully, this isn't too far away from our uh, grape factory. And I'm going to try and pull in here and do the same thing with the lettuce. We'll pull a little bit far through and then back up a bit. See if we can get this trailer to empty all of it over time. Oh no, I don't think I've got the back bit and... Ah, uh, damn. Uh, 18,349 from the first lot. The second lot is selling off now. Uh, we're going to get another... How much? Uh, 26,000. So that is 30... 34,000? Uh, 35,000, I think, off selling that first batch of uh, grape juice that's absolutely fantastic takes us up to 177,191 we are within a stone's throw of 200,000 here 
Right, I better get the rest of these loaded up then, and uh, we'll see how much it takes us up to. Last couple of boxes. Let's get these loaded on to the trailer. We've only got uh, six, eight, uh, nine, ten off here. So uh, ten more pallets that we got out of the uh, factory. Well, we got. Uh, didn't we had like four outside? So yeah, we had a few. Uh, let's just move our teller truck out the way so that we can get turned around fairly easily uh we're gonna need to take this round to the spinnery in a minute because you can probably see in the background there we've got a big pile of fabric ready to sell uh first we're gonna take this down to the farmer's market as well get this sold off um i wonder it'll definitely take us over 180,000. i wonder if this will take us over 190,000. we are we're not massively away from it Let's have a look. How much are we going to get off this? It's going to be a total of 12,694. That's absolutely brilliant. We are so close. Uh, as I said before, so close to 200,000. Uh, let's see how much we get with our fabric. But before we continue, this video is brought to you in partnership with the awesome people at Apex Gaming PCs. I've teamed up with Apex Gaming PCs to create my own custom line of PCs suitable for everybody from beginner farmers to virtual farming experts. Apex Gaming PCs are offering up to $250 off your next purchase just by using my link in the description below. So go check them out. And we've got quite a few pallets of fabric down here at the spinnery. Um, how many is it? I think it's uh, 10, 12, uh, 2, 4, uh, 13. So 13 in total. Um, we should be able to load these up fairly easily. So uh, I'm going to load them up. Uh, as we've got less of them, I'm going to load them up slightly differently to how I did the uh, grape juice. Uh, now, how much is our fabric going for at the moment? That is there we go uh oh it's not a great price at the moment six thousand nine hundred is what it can go for five thousand one hundred and twenty three though at the tailor shop so uh we're still gonna get over five thousand pounds a pallet from this so uh yeah we're easily going over the two hundred thousand mark uh we'd actually only need 20 of these pallets to add a hundred thousand to our total so uh, 13 is gonna add about uh, 60, 70,000 to uh, what we make today, which is uh, absolutely brilliant. So uh, let, let's get these loaded up. Last couple of pallets and get these onto the back of the trailer. Uh, we'll just have a quick check that the prices and, uh, and best price location hasn't changed uh, before we go and sell these. Just slide. Oh, no, that's catching the pallet. Let's... Yeah, there we go. Slide it onto the back. Uh, drop it down and drop it off. Right, and tie those down. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just back this off and stop it. Oh, I don't think I turned that off. Never mind. Um, we, yeah, Taylor Shop, one, 5,143. It's actually £20 higher than it was when we looked at it before we started loading these. So... Uh, despite the fact it's showing the price is dropping, we're going to get slightly more money for these than we expected originally. Again, going to try and unload this all at the same time. So bring this into here. Oh no, it's the 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 drop off is further back for this, isn't it? Ah, oh, now I've managed to get the back of the trailer in the wrong place. Uh, Fifty six thousand five hundred sixty four plus another 10,300 so uh yeah 66,800 about uh, about 67,000 for all of our fabric that's really really good okay we have some bits to load up down at the farm so i'm going to get our trailer back down there and then i'll come back and grab the telly truck and we can get those loaded up. 
So blue trailer's dropped off, Teletruck is picked up, and we're back down at the greenhouses. Uh, we're gonna, yeah, get this unloaded here, and then I'm just gonna use this little trailer to uh, do this uh, little bit. Or actually, the, the last few things we need to deliver. So uh, yeah, we'll get this Teletruck off here. Back it off. Um, and then I'm gonna hop back in, drop this down and drop the sides down on it as well. That way we'll find it easier to load up the lettuce on here. Uh, we'll pop over here, yep, yeah, and uh, we've got three at each of our greenhouses. As I was saying earlier, our greenhouses have run out of seed, have run out of uh, uh, have run out of fertilizer, um, and uh, so they're not producing anymore. I am leaving the farm though as a fully working farm. Uh, it uh, very much it, it's it's important to me that it's not just a case of selling everything off and seeing if we're you know if we've made money. Uh, it's a case of seeing if we can uh, create a working farm, something that can continue to grow beyond where we are now and and where we've hit in the series and actually we're really getting there that's exactly where we've got to in this series um you know the the already today we've made nearly 200,000 and uh and we've made a whole load of money earlier in the year as well so this is probably a two and a half three hundred thousand uh, pound a year farm from its produce from having just two fields which is incredible i am so pleased with how this series has gone it's it's been brilliant i've had so much fun building this vineyard up from scratch and it feels like it's it's ready to go to the next level so we've built the vineyard we've got all set up and everything and uh, and the next thing would probably be to expand the farm into being an arable farm as well and just grow it from there and this is the thing it will then start to grow exponentially if we are earning enough now to buy a field or two fields every year then that is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger so uh, i'm really pleased with the progress we've made on here over 60 episodes it's been absolutely brilliant and uh, yeah, we're going to see today whether we earn enough to pay off our remaining loan or, which is our stretch goal to be honest, or whether we're going to earn enough to buy the harvester and make this a fully functioning vineyard where we, where we own all of the, uh, all of the stuff to do the vineyard part of it, which, is, which would be absolutely amazing. So uh, yeah, we'll find that out once we've got this letter sold. And once we've got the uh, egg sold as well. Final pallet of lettuce. Let's see if we can just squeeze this in on the back rather than putting it on the top. Yeah, that looks like that's in there. Uh, we'll just push it in a little bit because our fork or the, the back plate of our forks is too wide. Uh, is that in there? I think that's, yep, that's in there. Cool. We will lock that down. Uh, let's go and put put this then round by the chickens and the eggs so we can load those up in a minute and go and sell the lettuce i always love dusk in farm sim it's uh, it's just beautiful whichever map you're on and uh, and really really atmospheric um but we are down here at the restaurant let's get this lettuce sold so yeah smaller trailer makes it easier to get it all sold at once uh, I think if we can add, I'd like to add about five, six grand from this. I think we should be able to do that. 7,614. Oh, it's going to be a little bit more than that. Fantastic. Uh, we are up to, is that going to be 10,000? That, that might be. I don't think so, actually. No, just another 951 off the end. So uh, over 8,000, though, for that final lot of lettuce. So that's uh, absolutely brilliant. We just need to go and sell the eggs. Our final produce or our final, yeah, it would be produce rather than crop. Uh, we've got uh, five pallets of eggs here to sell. So we're just going to load them onto the trailer. I've put the car there or put the, uh, the Land Rover there because 
Uh, we're probably going to go straight out the gate. Normally, the best place to sell these is the bakery. Uh, I think I will check. But, uh, yeah, I think the best place normally uh, for us to put them is over there. Second set of eggs. Oh, that's a little bit. Let's see if we can. Yeah, there we go. So drop those down onto that. And then just one last pallet on its own. We should be able to fit this on the back of the trailer, I think. Yeah, that should just squeeze in the back there. Or it might be a little bit of fun. Um, down and in. and Yeah, there we go. So that's got that in there and struck that down too. Right, let's go open the gates. And just before we head off, where is the best price for eggs? Looks like the restaurant. Yep, yeah, there we go. The restaurant, 2,071 for the eggs there. Uh, looks like, yeah, the restaurant is where we've been taking everything all day. So um, it's pretty good. I think uh, that, that'll be a good price. 7,000 at 2,000 litres. We should get another 14,000 for this. Uh, that'll take us to nearly seven, 270,000. That's huge. So let's see how much it actually is as we pull into the restaurant with our last load of the day. Uh, as our eggs disappear off our trailer into the restaurant, which they must be having one hell of a load of business at the moment for that. And 281, 14,494 pounds. What a fantastic end. And 281,000. That is a massive total. Um, I think we'd better head back down to the farmhouse and, uh, and into the kitchen and see where we're at. Back down at the yard and we'll just park up the landy. I've I've just realized I've left the JCB on, so uh, we'll turn the engine off on that and the lights. There we go. And head into the kitchen. Uh, let's go make a cup of tea and, uh, and have a look at where we are. So we have been on this map for six years. Wow, 60 episodes, six years. That is amazing. I'm, I'm incredible that we managed to average uh, a year every 10 videos. And total we've got, uh, what have we made? 195,675 today. Added to the 28,030 we made back in September. Um, yeah, it's a huge amount. 281,000 uh, in total. Not enough to pay off the loan, unfortunately. So uh, our stretch goal has not been met. We can't, we can't pay off the loan. Big question now is, though, can we pay for the harvester? Uh, let's go and have a look uh, under... Oh, wow, there's some interesting things in there. Uh, let's... There we go. There's our harvester. Can we afford it? Yes! Yes, we can! 192,712. We can purchase the harvester. That is absolutely awesome. Leaves us with 88,360. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. My, my basic goal for this series, we own the Grape Harvester. Absolutely fantastic. Actually, now that is going to be the best place for me to end this series on. I hope that you have enjoyed watching this series as much as I've enjoyed creating it. It has been an absolute blast to play on the old stream farm and create a vineyard from scratch. What did you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. But that unfortunately is where this series is going to end. I hope you've enjoyed it. And all that remains is for me to say... 
thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Virtual Farmer, check out the links below, follow on Twitch to watch live, and for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.